Hi, guys. Um, so assignment number two, social 30-2. Now we're getting into the meat and the potatoes. So let's have a look at this assignment. So on the screen right now, you should see an example of a assignment number two, right? And this came from January of 2016. Now remember, uh, in these videos, we're going to be talking about and discussing what the sources suggest is the role of government in society. And I told you before, and I'll say it again, in general, you know, some sources will be suggestive that the government needs to do more in society. And we'll see that with source one. Uh, other sources will be suggestive that the government should do less. Let's say you see a uh, a source where, uh, you know, it's the police beating on protesters. You know what I mean? Like I would say that's maybe the government uh, going a little bit too far. One never knows what we're going to see in the sources, but in general, it's either do more or do less. Do more when there's problems, do less when, you know, there's unnecessary government interference in people's lives. Now, on the screen, just so you can see, uh, there is an example of uh, a source from a former diploma exam. So if we just scroll down here, you can see uh, we have source number one. There's a top part to it, a little girl in 1908 working in a cotton mill. Uh, and then on the bottom half of the source, we see a young girl working in the year 2008 in Bangladesh inside a textile factory. Okay, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, just so you guys are aware of what these uh, actual assignments look like. There's source number two. We have a political cartoon, right? This cartoon, of course, is looking at a serious topic using humor, using satire. Uh, and then we have source three where it's a bar graph talking about financial assistance provided to uh, seniors in Canada in the year of April 2013. Uh, and then, of course, again, we see the instructions that look like this. And the question is posed, what does each of the three sources present on pages six and seven, right? The last two pages communicate about the role of government in society. So for each of those sources, source one, source two, source three, you have to analyze it and then tell me what the source suggests is the role of government in society. And then it says, and, right? We see that right there. And considering the sources presented on pages six and seven, what do you think should be the role of government in society? So in the first part, you focus on what the sources suggest should be the role of government. And then in the second part, you tell me what you think the role of government should be in society, considering the sources. So you must incorporate in that fourth paragraph what you think is the role of uh, government in society. And then it says, write a response in which you must interpret each source and then discuss the role of government, explain and defend your position, that's in the fourth paragraph, and then support it using your understanding of social studies. And I've spoken about this already, so I'm not going to go into it in any more detail. Now, coming up on the screen here, we I, I just simply took a snip of the first source because we are going to analyze this one together, right? And I'm going to show you how to actually write a source analysis paragraph. So in this source, again, right, we see a young girl working in a cotton mill uh, in 1908 America, right? We're talking about sort of like industrial revolution days before government passed laws against child labor and things like that. And then we see how in the current world, child labor is still going on. Now, quickly, guys, what I did and what I think is a very effective technique for you is I wrote a source summary, as you can see, uh, underneath the source. So what I would do in your case, seeing how this is an online medium, I would have a couple of sheets of paper once you see what the sources are, once you actually do this assessment, right? In the future, once you get to that. Uh, and I would be writing down, you know, source one and then my quick impressions of it. That's what this is right here. This is my quick impression of the source. So I wrote, we know that back in the day, child labor is very common. However, as time has moved forward and society has become more enlightened, we have come to the consensus or the understanding that child labor is wrong. However, as shown by 
it shouldn't be source two. It should be the second part of the source by the second part of the source. It is still going on, right? So clearly it is still going on. Now, when you see a source like this, is this source celebrating child labor or is this source perhaps saying we should do something about child labor? And I would say that it is the latter, right? We should do something about child labor. And if we're going to do something about child labor, then it's suggestive that the government needs to take more action to eliminate child labor. Now, knowing that, let's look at the next part that I put. So source one notes. So guys, knowing that this source is suggestive that the government needs to do something to stop child labor, if it's implying government action, uh, then it is a leftist socialist perspective. Remember, on the left, they believe that government's job is to fix problems in society, whereas on the right, they don't believe that, right? So this source would be from a leftist socialist perspective. Identifying that perspective is a very good thing to do. This source, I would argue, is against capitalism, right? It's trying to show us that capitalism, right, this profit-driven economic system uh, is in fact responsible for the exploitation of children. So that's sort of the second point that I have there. The third point says children are being used today as labor within the capitalist system in the developing world, such as in Bangladesh, because children are easily exploited and commonly paid less. I mean, guys, this is social studies that you should understand. Why do we outsource jobs to the developing world? Why do we see corporations uh, turning a blind eye to child labor? And the whole reason for it, guys, is when you outsource labor, right, to developing countries where people get paid less, uh, when these businesses that make, you know, the Nike shoes that you wear, uh, or, you know, the Adidas sweater that you have, when you put these things on, you don't want to pay a lot for it, right? And if you keep labor costs low by using child labor or the outsourcing of labor, you're going to keep corporate profits high. So it says uh, in the fourth point, uh, the fact that children are paid less ensures that corporate profits remain high. Now it says a person on the right. So I like to give a bit of a balance. We know this is from a leftist perspective and that this source sees child labor as wrong as it probably should. But a person on the right, like an individualist would possibly disagree with the perspective of the source. Uh, because let's face it, they don't wanna pay more money for everyday goods. Do you wanna pay $200 for a pair of shoes instead of $80 knowing that um, you know, to have that cost be uh, $80, it's because of child labor, or are you okay with paying more money for production, right? Um, so uh, going back to it, right, it says, why? Because it would make products that we all rely upon more expensive, and they, don't, or, and they know that people don't want to pay more for things like socks at Walmart. So the source is advocating that government should do something about this child labor. Hence, it holds a socialist perspective, right? Or a modern liberal perspective, anything on the left, right? Collectivist, socialist, uh, modern liberal, uh, whatever it happens to be. And what can government do? Well, in the end, guys, government, how how can they do something about this? What does it suggest? Um, well, that's sort of the last part here. Remember, guys, for your individual source analysis, you must, for each source, for your assignment number two, discuss what the source suggests is the role of government in society. Um, and I wrote down within source one, the role of government is suggested that governments need to look out for all people, especially the most vulnerable, such as children, to ensure they're not getting exploited. The source would suggest that the government needs to pass child labor laws within nations where this is still a problem so that people who exploit or abuse children in this manner face should say fines. Let me fix that. Face fines or jail time, right? Do something about it. And I mentioned again at the beginning of our discussion here, right? This is suggestive that the government needs to do more. Where there's child labor, end it. Stop it. All right. With that being said, guys, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to open up a new Word doc. 
and I'm gonna pull this over here. I'm gonna pull this over here and I'm gonna show you how, actually, how we actually start writing the uh, source analysis for 30-2. So very quickly guys, um, just get right into it. This is not an essay, there's no intro, there's no conclusion. So I'm gonna start right in it with in source one, we see uh, an image that shows a small girl in 1908 in the United States uh, facing the, I'm just gonna move this down, facing the issue of, issue of child labor Oops. in the second half of the source we see how in 2008, 100 years later, child labor is still something that is going on. It is happening in the developed world, such as places like Bangladesh, while it has been outlawed in the developed nations such as Canada or the United States. Boom. Just a quick little summary of what's going on in the source. I wasn't like, in source one, we see a girl standing in a factory. There is a window behind her and looms a thread standing in front of her. She is wearing a white dress, blah, 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 right? All that's unnecessary detail. Get to the heart of the source, right? So in source one, we see an image that shows a small girl in 1908 in the United States uh, facing the issue of child labor in the second half of the source, we see how in 2008, 100 years later, child labor is still something that is going on. Uh, it is happening in the developing world. Or sorry. There we go. In the developing world, such as places like Bangladesh, while it's been outlawed in developed nations such as Canada or the United States. Okay, boom. Right? Um, let's keep going with this. An individual... That is, I cannot type, a <laughs> capitalist would see the use of child labor today as acceptable knowing that people do not want to uh, pay more money for their everyday goods. The fact of the matter is goods today that we consume are cheap because someone somewhere was exploited in the making of these goods. Okay, so what I just did here, guys, right, with this right here, right, I'm just going to, one sec, full screen this, I'm going to double space everything just because it makes it a little bit easier to read. Boom, okay. Now let me just pull this back. All right, so I'm um, just moving this down. It says an individual that is uh, a capitalist. I'm gonna fix that. So an individual that is a capitalist would see the use of child labor today as acceptable, knowing that people do not want to pay more good, more money for their everyday goods. Uh, the fact of the matter is goods today that we consume are cheap because someone somewhere was exploited in the making of these goods. Also, capitalist uh, corporations are concerned 
about keeping profits high and this can only occur if labor oops, costs are kept low right now that's one side right let's look at the other side so we need to then uh however the source would disagree with this position of allowing exploitation. Let me just fix that. Boom, there we go. Uh, so, uh, however, the source would disagree with uh, this position of allowing exploitation and takes a leftist socialist perspective when it comes to the issue of child labor. I'm just going to move me back up here. Okay. Um, with that being said, I'm going to look what I did. Da, 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 da. Um, within Yeah, uh, within source one, it is suggested that the role of government is to create legislation that outlaws the practice of child labor. Once this legislation is passed by government and children are protected, fines or jail time should be the fate of those who continue to exploit children in order to keep the capitalist system profitable. So let's just recap this here, folks. So up here uh, at the top, I'm just going to move me into the middle here, right? Uh, up here uh, at the top, just a really quick synopsis of what is going on, right? Uh, and then I demonstrate who would uh, accept this, right? Demonstrating social studies knowledge. Uh, and then I get into why they would accept it, right? Capitalists want to keep profits high. Uh, and then I look at the other side, right? Talking about how socialists would disagree. Uh, and then I very clearly talk about the role of government right this source suggests that the government must do something if you say the government should do something about child labor that's a pretty general statement you're probably going to get an s however if you say something like the government should pass legislation which would fine or put in jail individuals who still continue to use child labor that's a much more well thought thought out argument right uh, and in total guys i mean this individual source right it's like what are we at here like half a page double space kind of deal it's never an issue of how long it is it's do you demonstrate knowledge of the issue and do you have a clearly stated um statement on what the source suggests is the role of government notice nowhere in this particular paragraph that i just put do you do i ever talk about what i believe the government should do right nothing about that at all my opinion doesn't factor in to this whatsoever all right so um hopefully that helps you out here folks um we will continue on looking at a fourth paragraph right you repeat this one time for source one you repeat it again for source two you repeat it again for source three you'll have three nicely 
composed paragraphs, and then you move on to that fourth paragraph where you talk about what you believe should be the role of government. And we'll look at that here uh, in the next module. All right, guys, peace, love you, stay cool, stay safe.